Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to Anno 1800, shall we? Just taking a look at ditch water, and well, all she's all full up, and look at that. We have 125 timber. Remember how we were low? This is why I didn't build too many, because we can't use any more. Well, time to use some. So what have we built so far? We built ourselves a depot, which is great. Um, but we need to now build resources for our workers. So we go to the bottom center of the heads up display, click on the hammer to open up the worker tab. And first of all, the workers can actually build better roads. So we can build paved streets that allow for faster transportation of goods and you know look better than dirt roads so this is something uh that i you know like to do but it does take one brick for each one so it's not like we have infinite bricks but what we want to build is a uh, if i open up my quest book we need to build a shipyard so to get a shipyard going we can just build uh you know uh the harbor but we need to build sails we need to start making sales and how many sales do we have we actually have uh, this is making some sales do i have any stocked up i have a, a decent amount so this is good for now but uh, we click the harbor tab to open up and we can build a quay but we don't want that um, we want the uh, sailing shipyard to build ships so i'm going to build this massive thing i'm going to build it right here that costs ten thousand. Historic first shipyard. We must document this moment in our first edition. Let's take a picture. So, the cameraman wants you to take a picture, and you can zoom in and you know take whatever photograph you want. Uh, I'm going to take it like try to get as much of the city as we can in here. Um, looks great. Submit it. Okay. And look at this, Phoenix from the Ashes. History in the making. It's a special edition of the paper. So, whoa, we're in chapter two. Just like that. A sign of fire. Ships like your father. Well, the queen is in the direst need of ships. That's right. Supporting her will go some way to healing the wounds of the past. Great. Let's heal the wounds. So a commission for the royal fleet. You got that right. And in such quantity. A rare honor indeed. Rare. So the weaponry oh boy. we ask for presents a problem. I'm not even sure we have an iron load, do we? We do. So we need to get iron. First of all, um, we need to push S to build roads, and the shipyard needs connected to roads. Uh, so that'll happen. There we go. Now, we have to do a lot of stuff right here. We need... We can build schooners, because schooners just take timber and sails. But it takes a ton. So, like, if, for example, we want to work at the shipyard... The shipyard is tricky because right now it takes no workers. But if I click on build a ship, it's going to take a ton of laborers that I don't have. So I only have 10 available workers and we will need to um, boost up the workforce significantly. I'll just click it to show you. So look at this. We only have 10 out of 100. So they need 100 workers. To help make the ship. So we're at minus 90. So we're going to push you really quickly. Uh, well, we have to go close out of that. We have to close out, push you. And I'm just going to start upgrading some big blocks there. And now we actually have a surplus of workers, but no extra farmers. So we're going to need to, before anything gets out of control, we need to build more farmer residences. And let's do that. Make sure it's within range of our market
and I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to kind of build the road over here. And I'm just looking top down to make the grid like so. I'm going to right click, uh, and we're just going to build a farmer residence there. There. So now our labor force is good, and I'll click on the shipyard to show you. It's operating at, at its peak. And we're making a schooner. It takes a long time to make a ship, but they sell for a ton. And we can use them to explore the map. So speaking of exploring the map, it might be worth doing that, but I don't like to do it with my flagship because it can get attacked by pirates or other forces, and we don't want to lose it. So I'm going to keep it here. At least I don't want to lose it. I'm going to keep it here. Now we need an iron deposit. So we see right over here, there are two iron loads to get to, but we can't clear this pathway out because there's like a tunnel, but is this safe? Um, so we need to select the iron deposit and is beyond our reach. It is. We have no choice but to find a way through the mountain. We need a way through the mountain. Still have a few sticks of dynamite. We can blow our way through. Yeah, so let's blow our way through with the dynamite. So we're going to select the excavation site, which is here. And I'm going to place Perhaps not refined enough for your sister, but at least your workers can start their dig. Right. So we're going to place some dynamite. And it says excavation site. In order to blow away through Ditchwater's iron deposits, these abandoned tunnels will firsthand need to be secured with scaffolding before any explosive charge can be placed. So we need bricks to do that. We'll start. And they're going to go ahead and work. It's going to take oh, 20 oh, farmers to go for it. Don't tend itself. So they're going to work on this. Um... And we need to connect this to a road. So I'm just going to push S. And I'm just going to connect um, this northern road to it as best we can. Now you'll see there's some sites blocking it. But there we go. So now people can get over there. Ship constructed. Uh, we can right click. We can also click on this. And I'm going to just have my people remove this. And it says no warehouse in range. Okay, fine. So warehouses have a finite range, even if you connect them to the road. So we will need to uh, right-click and push escape. Oops, we want to get out of this. So let me go to the construction menu, go to farmers, and uh, we need a warehouse here. I'll build a warehouse Right there. Expensive. What are you both doing? Demolition is a serious matter wanting proper expertise. Uh Father used Mr. Ticker on account of his good sense. Go on. I suggest you find him in Bright Sands. We need Mr. Ticker, the explosives guy. Alright. So click on the quest book to go to Bright Sands. And find this dude. So we need to explore and find Mr. Ticker. And he is maybe over here? Or over here? We will see arrows showing us where Mr. Ticker is. Search demolition experts near his timber production. Alright, so let's look around these timber yards and see if we can find this guy. Oops, I don't need to build anything. Uh, something for all seasons. Something for all seasons, indeed. Mr. Ticker? Well, anyway, we need to complete the first phase of this. And, um, what do you, how's it going over here? Oh, they're working on it. All right. Anyone see Mr. Ticker? And 
ministry can haul good and sons back from the grave. Okay. So I don't see Mr. Ticker. All right. So I'm going to come back to this one. And we're working on that. And how are we doing? Not enough bricks. We're using it all for the demolition site. We can't... Uh, oh, we have some extra lumber over here. We can't really get... Um, I'll go ahead and dig that up. They're done with the boat. So I'm going to right away make another boat. You can queue up boats. So if I click another one, you see how down at the bottom? I'm just going to make another one back to back without waiting. It doesn't eat the supplies until you start making it. But this way it keeps the labor from surging up. Like sometimes when they're done with the ship, you'll get plus 100 workers. And you're like, oh my gosh, I have so many. But you don't. Um, and they're only content because, well, while we're waiting um, for the first phase to be done here... You done? Um, it's working on it. Let's go ahead and um, go to our construction menu, go to workers, and we need to start making things to make them happy. So we need to make sausages. So sausages take pigs, and they take um, a slaughterhouse. So we need to make pig farms and a slaughterhouse. And I'm going to make them over here. So I'm going to put a pig farm... up here and then I'm going to put a slaughterhouse right next door now these are being um, blueprinted because what do you need yeah bricks we're so short on bricks but that's alright now here we need to get some pigsties in Just like that. There. Now they got enough pigsties. So they're going to start getting pigs together, but we don't have a slaughterhouse until we get bricks. And... They're all working 100%, 100%, 125%. So if I wanted to make another clay pit, is there another location? There is. So, I'm actually going to make another clay pit up here because I'm just low on um, bricks. So, I'm going to select that and I'm going to connect my primary road. I'm just going to build it up here all the way across with a bridge like that and then have this go here. Now, um, this will need a warehouse by it. No problem. With that, uh, we can get them to re uh, remove this for us. And now we have a, we don't have enough workers. So I'm going to quickly promote. Uh, I'm going to push escape. Push promote and just go ahead and get those two up. And I am now, new buildings have been unlocked, which is cool. All right, they completed the first phase. And oh, look, there's a star over here. What's going on? It's oh. you what pulls the levers. How am I supposed to brag about Punch Club if I can't talk about Punch Club? Um, okay. He wants to do a photography quest. Photograph the fighters. Oh, they're right here. Okay. So, I need to do photography. So... Um... All I have to do is um, do take a picture by using the take picture button. Um, in the here it is, take photo, and we'll aim right here at the fighters. Bam, we got them. Submit it, and we completed the quest. Not paid for a big boss. So now we get a naval architect that we can equip in the head uh, harbor master's office which makes boats cost less to make um, and less to maintain, which is incredible. However, he's expensive.
I thought we weren't supposed to talk about this. We weren't. Um, but I don't have a... Uh, I don't have the building that he goes in anyway. Like, I could try. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say... Uh, construction. Shipyard. And cannon tower, mounted guns, depots, shipyard. Quay. Harbor master's office. Right. So I could build this. You know. And, uh... try to equip that guy. So I'll push this in, but I still don't have enough bricks. So we're going to try to get there. Now we're we're losing money a little bit, but we need to build more residences. So I'm going to um, right click and just build some more. Okay, and can you guys tear this down? Great. Did you guys finish this one up here? Oh, they did. Oh, we got free bricks. That's incredible. All right. So the bricks are there. The warehouse is done. Uh-oh. Somebody else made a settlement. That's okay. We can deal with that. Now, how are we doing on bricks? We actually have more clay. So this means that we want to go right over here and build a brick factory. And right there. And we won't have enough workers, so we're going to need to upgrade... So, in this game, you got to pay attention to the fact that, like, what is going to hold us back is having enough workers. So, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I need to build another fire station over here. So, I will. I'm going to just build this. So, a lot of houses. Um, but you can see it's still plenty of access for these people. And I'm going to build another, um, not trade union. I always get it confused for the fire brigade. Uh, but the fire brigade looks like this with the hose. And you can see how it's like the fire people are having a trouble getting over here. So I'm going to build one right there. There we go. And now I can just push you to upgrade and just kind of select a little bit of stuff inside the city like that. And now we actually have enough for everything. But just enough. Um, let's see if we can find the guy that we need for the explosives. I don't see this guy anywhere. Um, we did complete the first phase, though, right? Finish the phase. Sweet. Now we can find the guy. So with the tunnel secured, an expert in demolitions is needed. So we got to get this guy. But you see how he's got prison garb on? That's because he's not where we thought he was. So we need to finish this, but we need... This dude. Something for all seasons. But he's not here. If you look at this, it says... Um, the roof of the shop is as red as dynamite. So we need to look for a shop that's red as dynamite. This one. Dynamite shop. If we click on it... the picket protest, many fine men left Bright Sands to join you. Then Edvard struck back. He imprisoned all who were close to your father, including my beloved Thomas. My husband and the others were deported to Wormway's prison, and I've heard nothing from him ever since. If you do find him unharmed, prithee tell him his wife yearns for his return. We are nearing the place your father died. Whatever happens, stay calm. So here's the terrible prison. So there you are, the traitor's children. Oh, what a nice How guy. Dare you. Yeah. Oh, spare me the nauseating drivel. Flogging Queenie's peachy island in the new world to some rebel upstarts? Ha! <laughs> Traitor is too generous a word. Father would never have. He was the Queen's stalwart, a member of the Royal Council. He... He hung himself in one of my cells. I'd call that a rather conclusive admission of guilt. We did not come here to be insulted. 
We came to strike a bargain. The demolition man, Thomas. We want him. Oh, I vaguely remember him. Stubborn, with a loose mouth. Just as innocent as all the others. He is small fry. A bail has been set. Pay every penny of his money, and I will place him immediately at your disposal. All right, so he's got to get some money to spring this dude out of prison. I can't think why he'd be worth anything. Everyone here is beyond redemption. Wow, what a great guy. Um, so we need to search for him in the stone pit. And that's one of the things I really want to do in this guide, is just show you how to do these quests, because they're kind of confusing. It's not like you're playing the game, it's like you're doing something really specific sometimes. So you got to search around in the pit and see if you can find this guy. But if you don't know how, click on this, and it will tell you um, the prisoners look the same, but the demolitions expert is the best educated. So we need to just, like, click on some prisoners and see... Okay, okay, best educated. Does that give me a clue um, as to where he is? A lot of you. Back to yourselves. Right, so we zoom out and zoom back in. All right, standing up. Uh-huh. Constructed. They're fighting. I'm like looking for... Oh, here we go. Is this him? Who's this guy? Now I'm looking for somebody who's like reading or something. Um... No one leaves wormways in a hurry. Or not. The stone pit. Here's the stone pit. There he is. Engineer, aye, that's me. Who's asking? Um, it's that's me. The least I'm due for my suffering. Five thousand he wants, so just say yep, pay He's it. Ready for transportation. So we need to command the prison governor's ship to your island. So, uh, we've got him, and here it is. Keep an eye to the horizon for miscreants. Yeah. I'm ready. So he's coming to our harbor. Now, by the way, at our harbor, look what we have. I built three schooners. I'm going to keep one for myself and send three. I'm just going to drag a box to select three. You see in the bottom center, I have three ships selected. And this is kind of like your fleet. And I'm actually going to click on this white section and turn them into this quest right here. Now we only need one for Sir Archibald, but I'll show you something. We're working on our way over there. Our ships should go, there they go. So there's our fleet. And they're moving over here. As soon as they get close enough, All we have to do is to click on this guy and, and thrust into the unknown. he'll give us 4,200. Oh, he gave us a pickup quest. Um, oh, he wants us to go pick something up. That's easy enough. Um, but what we need to do is actually go here. Sorry, that was a separate quest. That's easy. I'm going to go right here. And right click on this guy and all you have to do is trade him so you can on your boat you can click the dollar sign right here I present my humble duty and he'll give us 2500 and you say yep and then that already takes it off of the bulk order so now we just need to make a frigate and two gunboats but you can also select these two uh, this boat and sell it and he'll just give you 2500 bucks every single time so this is a great way to make some cash just sell boats just make boats and sell them now this schooner we need to take the schooner to where he wants us to go 
That's why I wanted to keep one extra ship, so I could send it out for this kind of a quest, and to explore. You see how it's all clouds? Try to make a good first impression, Eldest. Any friend of father is a friend of ours. Indeed. It's all cloudy because it's fog of war. We haven't explored here. You see how our map is all um, grayed out. We don't know where anything is. But the ship will get there eventually. Uh, you could see this is the ship moving. It's not super fast. But anyway, let's go back to our harbor. And we're going to click on this. Uh, this. Where's the ship that wants to trade us? Uh, talk to the demolitions expert who's waiting at the harbor. Oh, okay. Here he is right here. Commodity now to be bought and sold. Your father treated me like a human being. Well, I got you out of prison. I don't know what you're trying to achieve here, but it won't bring Samuel back. I heard your dynamite would bring him back. All right, so we got him, and now um, we should be able to complete the next phase. So you can see when you click on the demolition site, now it's not a farmer; it's this dude, and we can click on this. What's the difference? And, um, we need a bunch of wool to get this going. So do we have wool? No. So that's bad. So we need to make wool. We need to get some surplus wool is what we need. Um, and what we can do to just easily remedy that is to click on wool and to click on, um... Buy. And I want um, buy when under 20. And the minimum stock should be um, 15. So I don't want to go below 15. And if I'm under 20, I want you to buy. There. So hopefully we can get some wool. We're buying it once the traders come around. And um, artifact finding. How are we doing? How's our boat doing? It's going towards it. We can follow the boat. Alright, so that's another player. An NPC that's that magenta kind of lavender color. Here we go. Alright, so this ship is exploring. And you can see the other player right here on the map. This is somebody. This brown is another player. These islands that are have no color, these are where we could settle to expand. And in Anno, you need to do that. Because, for example, this island has potato, grain, hops, fertility, and it has um, niter. So it's like... If you want to get those and you can't grow them or acquire them on your island, you need to make another island where you can or trade them. Excuse me. Disregard the cake shop front. Skeletons dangle in barrels pantry. Oh boy. She said that kind of happily. So if you go to the diplomacy screen, this is where you could see the other players. And here's Beryl, we're peaceful with them at the moment. Here's us, here's our money, and here's the other people that we have trade rights with, who we're at war with, who we have an alliance with. Um, and we can expand our trade options in a moment, but for now, let's finish this quest. So we're going to drive our boat over, and we're going to pick it up. No, no, go back here, pick it up. Ready for assignment. All right, we're going to get this. There we go. So we got it. And he wants it back. So, um... He, all we have to do is just tell the boat to go here. All right, and then it's going to deliver Her Majesty's treasures. Now, back at our, um... area, we aren't building any more ships anymore. Uh, but that's for the best, because we don't have enough employees. So what I'm going to do is push you, and I'm going to uh, upgrade a bunch of um, folk until I can get plus 100 minimum. 
there. And then now, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to select the shipyard, and I'm going to start building some more schooners. This is going to make us money. We're in the surplus now. We actually have a ton of bricks, so we're getting more bricks, which is amazing. And we've been able to uh, build most of these things. Why isn't this slaughterhouse not built? A competitor raised a settlement. So we were able to instantly build it because we have the supplies. We don't have enough labor, so we're going to need to push you to upgrade. Just kind of select some other folk. There we go. And I'm going to right-click and build in some more houses. We're not, we don't have enough schnapps anymore. So we got to get that going. So we're going to go uh, to construction menu, farmers, schnapps. We need potatoes. And I'm going to start building stuff out here. Remember, I don't want to build things near the marketplace because I don't want to take up space that could be used for um, houses. And then we'll build a schnapps distillery. Good. And then this, we need 72 potato farms. So, um, there. There. Now, what you could do is drag it, and then they won't let you build more than 72. So you can just kind of um, get it to the shape that you want. Like, I like this shape. Perfect. And now I'm down on farmers, so we need more people to move in. So I'm going to right-click, and let's just drop in some more people. So he, he have arrived, and he's like, you're ready to turn into quest, and all you have to do is click on this, and click here. Uh, uh, perhaps you'd like my latest. Go now reporting. I'm just going to ride right to the ship and say, yes, check mark. We did it. And he just gives you a bunch of money. And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to sell this boat once it gets close enough. Twenty-five hundred. All right, so we're doing great on money. Uh, they have no road access. There you go. Let me build some more houses. We're really running out of people here. All right, we got enough clothes forever. Constructed. Uh, did we get enough wool yet? go missing goods no we're missing uh, the wool so I'm trying to buy wool but if nobody's producing wool then uh, we'll just have to take matters into our own hands which would be go to construction menu go to farmers um, oh the police he wants us to build a police station which is actually a good idea so I'll build a police station right here and then we're going to go to uh, farmers, and we're going to build uh, a sheep farm. Build it way over here. And we'll just go ahead and go, you know, one, two, three. Make a nice square. There we go. We don't have enough workers at the moment. They must have stopped making a boat. No, they are. We should get enough workers in. Please don't. I don't like... I'm going to see if I can delay him going to press. I don't like when they go to press. There we go. So what they're telling us now is that if we want to get beer we need to go to another island. And we're starting to make progress. We're actually making good profits. We need to get our island a little bit bigger and see how we're doing. You see, look at that. All that timber we had extra, and now we don't have enough. So up and down it goes. 
Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun. We are, you know, making good progress, but we have a lot to still uncover in this game. But our city is just really coming along, and we're... I like that we're 50000 and above on money, have no real problems, and seem to be doing just fine. What's going on here? Um, okay, so you see how it says the times are delayed? You can just upgrade this to make it a better warehouse to help expedite that. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care.